So I want to show you about how to add your own subtitles and captions to a YouTube video and you can actually, after you've created these, you could then export them from this into other file versions. So you could load your video up onto Facebook and use the captions you've created from this. So this is a handy tool uh, and I'll just take you through the process. So when you're on your own video, you've got these options here to edit, uh, enhancements, audio, end screen annotations, cards, and subtitles and closed captions. Click on this button, subtitles and closed captions, and that opens up this area here, which is where you can add them. Now you'll see here it's already got published English Automatic, which is great because they've already had a go at uh, translating this for you. So if you click on that, it opens up with the timings of when the, when the subtitles come up. So if we go through this, you'll see they pop up at different times, different subtitles. What we're going to do now is actually just go through it and just tweak it, just uh, fix up some of the typos that are bound to be in there. So first of all, you've got to click on Edit. Today is uh, not only get a whole bunch of writers together, but also be seen in the community. Lifeline Western Sydney. The beneficiaries of the, the ride. Uh, sorry, we... Which is there for people at their time of crisis? That could be for any reason, it could be going. So once you've gone through the entire uh, captions, made the timings right and checked all the, uh, the words, made sure they're actually what, what you mean to say, you then just click Save Changes. If you've already done a draft of this, this will overwrite the previous draft. And you publish it. Now once you've done this, you can also go back and download various versions of it. You can download the SRT file, which is what Facebook loves to use. Just click download and I'll come up with captions SRT and save that. Another way to insert captions is to actually just type them directly in YouTube. Um, let's have a look at how that works. So I would in this case uh, select English United Kingdom and they've got some different options here. You could upload a file. Now this would be ideal if you've got a vo uh, video that's been voiceovered. You've, it's already has a script already written. You can simply upload that file and then insert the relevant timings for it. We can transcribe and auto sync. We can create new subtitles or closed captions. And they've also got a service here where you can actually pay someone to do this for you. So it's about $12 or $18 to do that for your video. I guess it depends on the duration of the video. In this case, I'm going to look at transcribe and auto sync. And the way this works is as you press play, um, you can start typing. So we're here at Penrith. As you can see, it actually pauses the video while I'm typing. Panthers and we're... We're uh, taking a ride today up to... to Gregor, which is a very handy feature. So I know that's all the commentary from the video, so I don't need to add any more captions. But from here, I can set the timings to make sure that the captions are coming up at the right point in the video. And I can also go through it and fix up any typos I've made along the way. So uh, that gives you a great flexibility. And as you'll see over here, it adjusts the time as I move it. So you'll see that time then adjusts. So now, if we go and open up the video again. So we're here at Penrith Panthers and we're uh, taking a ride today up to Grey Gums on the Putty Road. Today is the one day, it's a national event. And today we'll put 7,000 motorcyclists on the road across the country on 34 rides. And of course, as uh, always, you can turn that off at any time. Just of, simply uh, click on that ride, button which is, there. Uh, bringing awareness to suicide and depression. 
And that's how you create your captions in YouTube. I highly recommend it. It also helps with the SEO of your YouTube videos if you've got captions attached to them because then Google is able to recognize the, the text content that's involved with the video. So if you get in the habit of doing that, you'll find your videos will be more watchable.